Telly Ho there chaps Now I've made this video for the Dell XPS 9560 but you do the exact same method with the brand new 9570 XPS 13 as well bear in mind the XPS 13 you can only upgrade the SSD one thing when you're upgrading the RAM on the 9570 is it's very important you get the right RAM there are posts on reddit where people have bought DDR2666 and it was indeed DDR4 sodium and it would not work so make sure you get the right RAM I'll leave links in the description for RAM that is definitely 100% compatible here and it's good high quality RAM Micron chips basically Micron and Samsung chips are the best chips you can get on RAM these are Micron chips they're made by Micron they're called ballistic or something like that and it's also compatible with the 9560 so you can put the 2666 megahertz ddr4 also in the last xps 15 i'll leave links in the description also for the ssds as well don't forget to give me a sub and like if you like these sort of videos also if you want to cheaply upgrade to windows 10 pro from windows 10 home check out the links in the description for a promo code and links to cheap windows keys and also cheap microsoft office keys now let's get on with the video tell you there champs and welcome to the show today i'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your ssd and ram in the xps 15 or 13 remember you cannot upgrade the RAM in the XPS 13 but replacing the SSD is the same as doing it in the XPS 15. I'll leave links in the description for the correct RAM and SSDs to get for this XPS 15. You want to make sure you get the correct RAM and SSD and I've left my recommended SSDs. I'll leave a link in the description also to the tool you'll need. You'll need a T5 Torx screwdriver. you also need a Phillips screwdriver or a Star screwdriver. Pretty much you'll be able to find one of those no problem. I also have like over 20 videos on on the XPS 15 so check out my playlist course in the description and if you're replacing the SSD you might as well look at my advanced setup the advanced method of installing a fresh copy of Windows and tweaking a few things on the XPS 15 if you like these type of videos give me a thumbs up and why not subscribe I've got lots more XPS 15 videos coming and next crack on and get into it first of all you do this at your own risk of course it's pretty simple if you follow my steps you should be right all right so all you need is the Phillips screwdriver look underneath the service flap and undo those two screws then undo all the t5 screws around the edge of the bottom panel and then just pop it off it's pretty simple to pop off might have to use an old credit card or a guitar pick to pop it off it might be a bit tight but just work it around the edges you'll get it off eventually now let's have a look inside a little tour there's the battery it may be different if you have the small battery or the hard drive there that's the ssd there's the two RAM slots and there's the CPU and GPU there. Now, before you start working on the inside, you want to disconnect the battery. You'll be able to do that with your fingernail or maybe just again, use an old credit card or something like that. Just disconnect the battery power there and make sure it's not plugged in obviously too. Best thing obviously is to shut down your computer before you do this. Now, once that's disconnected, to replace the SSD, it's so simple, it's one screw. Just undo that screw and slide out the SSD. You want to make sure you just remember where that notch is. Also, it may or may not have a thermal pad on it. If the thermal pad is not on the SSD, it'll actually be stuck to the bottom panel. You just got to make sure you put the new SSD in exactly the same way as the old one. So just look where that notch is, put it in. It'll just snap in there, then just press it down gently on the end and screw it in. Simple as that. Woof, you got a new SSD. So to replace the RAM, it's very simple too. You just pop out those levers on either side of the RAM and then it will just pop out. Once it pops out, slide it out and just again take notice of where the notch is. Then take out the RAM, put in the new RAM, push it in and and it will just snap in there just make sure it's in securely and woof you've just upgraded your ram again you'll see there that my ssd rubber pad thermal pad is actually stuck to the bottom panel 
I'll just leave it there because it's going to get stuck there again anyway. And make sure you attach the power before you put the bottom panel on. Put the bottom panel on, screw it up, and you're done. So I'd like to really thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful. If you're new around here, why not subscribe? I've got lots more tech content coming soon, especially XPS 15 content. And until next time, guys, tally ho.